Okay, there's a couple of things that can affect solubility. We're going to talk about, there's a few things. We're going to talk about two of them. First, we're going to talk about pH, and in the next podcast, we're going to talk about the common ion. And in both cases, we're talking about what happens to a relatively insoluble ionic compound when we uh, change the pH or um, add a common ion. So for pH, let's take a look. So let's say we had magnesium hydroxide, which is pretty insoluble. And the question is, would it be more soluble in an acid or a base, and why? So let's first start off by taking a look at what's going to happen if I add an acid. So if I add an acid, what I am doing is adding a plus, H plus, here. And as you know, if I have an H plus and OH minus, that's going to form water. And if I'm forming water, I'm pulling the hydroxide out of solution, which is going to cause that reaction to shift to the right. Okay, so adding an acid to a relatively insoluble base is going to increase the solubility. Okay, now let's take a look at what, what's going to happen if I add hydroxide to this. So let me just erase what we've done there. I'm not going to bother erasing. All right, so let's say I, I haven't added OH, um, H plus, I add more OH minus, okay? What the shot here tells us is if I add more of my product, that reaction is going to shift to the left. And if that reaction is shifting to the left, more of my base here remains as a solid, which means that my solubility, which is how much of it dissolves, decreases. Okay, so that's about it. Pretty easy concept. It's always going to be the same. If I have a relatively insoluble base and I add H+, plus, it's going to increase my solubility. If I add more of the same base, it's going to decrease my solubility.